Hey everyone, welcome back to Duke Country Farm. This is the end of our kidding season. Well, we have one more, but it's not until April. But we're done right now. Out of six doughs, we had uh, two sets of triplets and uh, four sets of twins. So let me show you our latest, Josie. She ended up having her babies yesterday evening. Anyway, Josie was our last one to have her baby. Um, I had talked to the vet yesterday and I went to the vet. I left here, went to the vet uh, to pick up some uh, dexamethas de dexamethasone and some um, lutealize to induce her. And she had went down on us and was um, not really eating, not walking. She was kind of acting like Josie, I mean, uh, Dixie was with uh, pregnancy toxemia. And so I knew she was overdue because the rest of the last one we had had was um, Friday. And then this was yesterday, was Monday. And so we went, I left here and was gone about an hour and a half by the time I went to the vet, went back to pick up Ashlyn from school. And we drove up and we come out to um, induce her, to give her her shots. And she was having a baby. I'll put a clip in here, a little bit of, of the clip that happened yesterday of her having her babies. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> One big old baby, man. I know. <laughs> Let's see what it is. That is a head. Yeah, I'm saying there's no hood. <sighs> I see zero hood. Going? You show the head. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's awesome. It's about all the hours back in this time. Um, Aiden, would you run in there and get, get that big old deal of lube? Uh, I'm not sure. Hey, you're going to have to go. Go. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Okay.
Melbourne's feet are not here. We gotta have its feet. Oh, good gracious. There it is. There it is. Okay, baby. There it is. Oh, girl, Justin. No, she's got more. Ooh, I wanted a girl. Okay, baby. Okay, look, Nana. There. Yeah, there's more. She has, no, look. He has a wet leg. Yeah. Oh, we found it. Let me have that towel. Here's a clean one. All right, bring it up here. No, no, no. Bring it up here, and I'm going to put it in front of Mama. Look, he's here. I'm glad you're here since you've got him. Look, he's in here. She had her first one was a little boy. Looky there, a little dapple. Oh, so sweet. Good job. Good boy. Oh, you didn't have this on your plants now, did you? No, I didn't. Plan on giving her loot. Oh, yeah. Okay, she's having another one. Oh, she had another one. Take it uh, cleaned off. Good job. Here's another one. There's a girl, Nanny. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, Why she's she beautiful. Cute? She's beautiful. You gotta get this off of her face. Give me that syringe thing. Come here, baby girl. Come here. I don't even have time to get my gloves on. And there's another sack, by the way. So she's gonna have another one. Oh, she's beautiful. She doesn't have the same thing. No, she doesn't. No, he's fine. He, no, he has parrot mouth. I was saying that she didn't have the same thing. Ugh. Hey, she's on this junk. Come on, Mama. She still has it all over. Look here, Mama. Look, Mama. Here's another one. Look here. Here's another one. Good. It's another dapple. It looks exactly almost close to her. It is a girl, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so far she has a little girl and a little boy. boy. Where you going, little girl? I'm gonna walk on my own. You're awful big, boy. <laughs> yeah. You got two pretty babies here. Oh, they're getting up, Mama. Looky there. Looky there. So she is in the birthing stall. This is Josie. And her little babies are nursing. This is the little girl on this side. And then the little boy. No, that is the boy. And over here is the little girl. The little boy, we're, we're not sure how long she had been pushing. She had been pushing a while because um, the little boy had defe defecated in his sack of his water. So we knew we could see it in the, in the sack. Um... So he, either his face is swollen from him being in the birth canal for so long or he has what they call a parrot face uh, or parrot jaw where his bottom jaw is, uh, his top comes out farther than the bottom. And so let me, I'm going to worm her real quick before I let her out and I'll let her out and then I'll show you this little boy. I worm with two meals of Safeguard and one meal of uh, Ivermectin. I've always dual wormed mine at Boers and that's how I, our program is. And so it's been almost 24 hours since she's had her babies. Dixie, leave the camera alone. Sorry, y'all. Um, so I always warm them before I let them out uh, 24 hours after they have their babies, then I warm them and then we let them out to mingle since they've had time to uh, kind of bond with mom. So let me get these worms, get her worm real quick and I'll let her out. I do this um, orally. I don't uh, give her a shot. I just put it, we just use it orally on her. I 
I'll jump just that. And then I'm going to take down these pins. So, let me set this over here. Let me show you this little boy that was born. This is the little boy. Look at his mouth. Just sideways. It's all right. It's all right. Baby. It's better than what it was. It don't look quite as big. So I'm I'm really thinking. I'm really thinking because his nose is still swollen. I'm thinking she was in labor for that. I had noticed her pushing earlier in the day, and I thought she was having them then, but um, she didn't, and so that's the reason we were going to induce her. And then he has this. It may go down. So I don't know if he was in the birth canal for so long or maybe all day and I just didn't. She didn't have a water sack or showing anything. I had just seen her pushing a couple of times. And so I was kind of worried about her. But then he has this. But it looks better than what it did when he was born. So it may be just because he had the swollen face. And I'm, I'm thinking if we'd have waited much longer, we would have lost him. He was a little harder. His feet was not presenting. It was just his head only. And um, so we got his feet. I got one out, and then he came on out. But I don't know if he has a parrot jaw or we're just going to wait another day or two and see how well he does. Okay? Okay? He's a dapple. He's so pretty. He'll stay on mom until weaning. and we're not going to make a bottle baby out of him. So, anyway, he's a sweetie. Let me show you the girl. <laughs> this is the little girl. Look at this coloring. She's a, she is silver. She's actually got the dark red with silver coloring. And, uh, so we haven't messed with them much since she was born. So that's the reason they're not very Okay. That's why they're not very friendly. So we'll get to messing with them more, which they're not quite 24 hours old. But they're doing wonderful and nursing wonderful on mama, aren't you? Yeah, you'll be running around with your friends out there in a little bit, in a day or two. She'll come on out in, in a little bit. But her babies are very, very beautiful and colorful. Uh, We'll sell the little boy, but the little girl here, her name, is, the mama's name is Josie, and this is Ashland's goat, and she wants to name her little girl uh, Jewel because of the coloring and how silver she is. So her name will be Jewel for sure.
care of all the petitions except for this where we have all of our junk to make our doors and stuff. So this is all opened up now. And all of this is opened up now. I'm going to go ahead and leave this little house with a light for the babies at night. So I think it's supposed to turn off cold next week. And then maybe Saturday we can work on these doors and hit finish his wiring to get lights up in here. So we've opened it all up and we're done with kidding. It's kind of sad, but we've got these beautiful babies. Let me show you this little girl walking. Her front feet, she doesn't stand up on them right for very long. I think, I think I'll need to give her some selenium. It could be a little bit of selenium deficiency, so I'll have to run in the house and get some here in a little bit. Now, we gave selenium to the mamas, if you remember when we hoof trim and uh, everything, but you can give baby selenium. Their feet and his mouth, it may be because they were, she was overdue and they were just so crowded. Um, or it also, with her legs, it also can be like a, the mom's hormone, if I'm, if, I'm re, if I'm thinking right, the mom can give off a hormone type thing uh, too much and it affects their joints for a few days, which these babies are not even 24 hours old yet. So uh, we'll give them a few days and see what happens. But I am gonna go ahead and, and uh, give them selenium real quick. And um, it's not gonna hurt them. Uh, it will help them. So, let's give this little boy some first. <laughs> oh, is that nasty? You want some now, little girl? Jewel. Jewel. Here, let's get you some. Come here. You put it in the roof of your mouth. You just make a little ball and you stick it to the roof of their mouth. them so we'll watch her legs and as he's got one leg well both of his legs do the same thing so I'm really thinking that it is from mom from my hormone that she's released too much of or it could be a selenium deficiency but we treated mom for selenium so I don't know but we'll watch these little babies as they gain strength and see how their legs uh, fix in a few days watching this um, video and all my news I've had quite a few uh, new subscribers and so we're just a small little farm starting with bowers uh, we like the dapple bowers that's what we're trying and we're striving for and uh, come along with us follow us as we, we learn how to do it y'all can learn right along with us so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and uh, y'all like and share mm -hmm.